Hi there guys, my name is Savina Mahadio and I have the privilege and honor to attend the premiere of the local South African movie Three Days to Go. So I'm not going to tell you anything about this movie. Instead, we are going to hear it from the star cast themselves. <laughs> I play the role of Brahmin J, um, and I'm not afraid to say that I'm the best thing in the film, you know, everyone, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, he's a bit of a nuisance, he's a bit of a bumbling fool, but he's got a good heart and he means very well. I had an absolute blast playing him, Bianca and the producers and directors were very uh, f uh, forthcoming by giving me a, a bit of creative freedom for it, so I was really, really excited. And uh, I hope the public enjoys it. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you on the big screen. Thank you very much. So my character is Babes and uh, someone's in deep trouble with me and I want my money, that's all I want is my money. So Candice is a single mother of two with two baby daddies and she doesn't really have much to do with her kids. She's kind of just lumped them with her mom and her dad and she's living her best life or so it seems. So I think that's one of the most beautiful things about the character in the movie. You see her journey of sort of this outgoing fun party girl to uh, a sort of cathartic experience with her mother and her family where you see her grow into quite a uh, beautiful young woman. The audience can expect a roller coaster of emotions and lots of laughs. There are some amazing cameos. I mean, Tumi and Ash Ganga Pasad, they literally, I think, steal the show. Uh, but I personally prefer laughter to the sort of emotional and tears. But also what you're going to do is you're going to identify with this family because all of our families, whether you want to admit it or not, are crazy. Um, they can just expect a really cool, uh, relatable movie, like something that everybody can relate to in this movie. There's so many different characters, there's so many different storylines. It's very relatable to a South African audience, an international audience. Amazing actors, amazing crew, everyone's just amazing on this movie, so everything about it's amazing. Um, so I play Oliver, who's the love interest of Janet, who's the, one of the lead characters. Um, and it's just all the dramas that come with a relationship and trying to be accept accepted by the family and trying to cement a relationship while all the drama's going down with the, with, with the father dying and all that sort of stuff. I can't give too much away, but yeah. I just want to say, as I always do, thank you for the incredible support. It's always humbling. It's, it's just completely overwhelming to get so much amazing support from, from everybody. So I really, really appreciate it. Are you excited? You can see my face. I have never felt this way in a long time. I don't know. This is amazing. Really, it is. So much of, um, so much of love. Look at that. I think it's going to hit home to uh, a lot of uh, South African homes and families. And uh, if not, not, not just South African homes, but abroad as well. Um, thank you so much for everything that you've done. Uh, a fan is a person who cares and respects another person for what they're capable of. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all those people who've given me love and taken well my hand through 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 everything. And uh, yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much. My mom especially. Ma, I love you, ma. She always calls me for not saying a name. I love you, ma. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm wearing Casey Jean, proudly a Durban designer. So super excited about tonight. Wow, you know, three days to go. Um, started three years ago pretty much um, and being uh, uh, in the film as an actor and in you know as part of the production team as co-producer and casting director uh, was a whole new learning experience for me so it's been absolutely wonderful and I'm so excited for everyone to watch it tonight uh, it's super special and I think it's it's one of the most relatable films um, that have come out out of the South African industry so hopefully our audiences will, will relate to it and really enjoy it Amy is the sister you love to hate. Um, but you know, all the siblings in this film, there are characters in there that 
you'll find one of your siblings or somebody you know in them. Um, and Amy's the one that likes to act as if her life is perfect all the time. But I'm not going to say any more because, you know, you need to watch it. Well, I play Melissa, the eldest sister in the family, in this crazy family. Um, my role is pretty interesting. It's not anything like I've played before. Uh, Melissa is really uh, the sister who's very weighed down, really heavy throughout the movie washed out literally because she just has a very troublesome family. Her husband really emotionally abuses her. Her daughter's just gone down the wrong path and everybody blames her for everything. So she's literally trying to keep things together and keep the peace and do damage control throughout the movie until at some point she finds her own voice and she feels strong enough to stand up and say no, enough is enough. So it's that kind. I think it's the one character in the movie that you see many dimensions as she moves along. So yeah. I think it's a lovely fa family drama. There's elements of comedy in it. Um, everybody loves looking in on a family. And you know, when it comes to something that deals with family, everybody can identify with so many things. Siblings go away when they get married. They all pretend their lives are amazing. And even when it's not, and it's falling apart sometimes, and then they come back to the family home and everyone's trying to pretend and behave as if everything is just hunky-dory, when every single one has some problem of some sort. And the tensions, I think, will keep everyone at the edge of their seat. And there's also little bits of comedy that people will love, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think this is an amazing year. Uh, it's going to be an amazing year. Kicking it off with three days to go. I have another movie coming out in uh, April. You all know what that is, the sequel. So I think we're starting the year off with a bang. I think everybody can expect many wonderful things. And it's so great that Durban particularly is doing so well in terms of movie making and people are seeing it as the wonderful location it is. And also that there, there's so much talent right here in Durban. So it's great. I think it's a great start of the year and it's going to only get better. Well, I'm delighted to be here. I've always said that I'm in love with South Africa. I've been coming here for now almost 10 years. I shot three films here and I have performed at uh, Durban and Johannesburg twice and then I came to shoot the film, so now I'm completely in love. <laughs> um, you know, we spend a lot of time uh, shooting, so I didn't really get a lot of, I, I just like the, I like the city a lot. When I came in and I landed, I'd forgotten how beautiful and green it was, and what the weather was fantastic just now. I came from Delhi where I was shooting, and it was really cold. No, I just like the, you know, sometimes it's just like the energy of a place. It, it isn't something specific. I mean, I like the beach, but I have the beach in Mumbai. And uh, so it's nothing like that. It's, it's the energy. I mean, I like Johannesburg, but uh, I like Durban much more. And I love Cape Town. Well, uh, surprise, surprise, she's a mother. <laughs> and she has four children, uh, three girls and a boy. And uh, I liked it because, you know, mothers are also personalities and she has a very, um, she's a, what should I say, she's the matriarch. She's the matriarch of the family. And so she really pulls all the strings and uh, she's the one who, in the end, everybody sort of comes to and, and which is what a mom is, basically. But I really enjoyed working with the actors here very, very much. I mean, that's one of the reasons I came down. I'm on my way to Europe, so I came back came here and then I'm back up there so I really enjoyed it and I told Bianca now you're stuck with me because every film you do you'll have to find a role for me <laughs> hey, fans in Durban well let me tell you the cutest thing I got a message as soon as I landed here from some girl I don't know how she got my number saying that she was so delighted I was in Durban and that she lives in Durban and she's a huge fan and that she wishes me all the best for three days to go and I'm sure it's going to be phenomenal and that she loves me and I was so touched because um, you know when you are doing work you don't really know how people think about you feel about you I'm constantly very happily surprised so firstly I'm delighted that I have a lot of fans in Durban <laughs> and uh, secondly I just want to tell them to keep watch the film and to um, make lots and lots of people watch it because I haven't seen it but from the story and the way we shot it, I know it's a good film. You know it in your bones when you're shooting a film. You know, I had, I had a feeling when I did some films that they would turn out to be good films. 
product so i have that and uh, i want to tell them that to keep watching some other stuff that i'll be doing a hindi film which is coming out uh, a web series that's coming out some short films that are coming out that are all going to be on the digital platform the hindi film of course is a commercial film so to keep watching me and keep loving me so i play janet who's kind of the practical rational minded one and tries to keep the peace with the family but she's also uh she gets very frustrated she's extremely sarcastic you'll see but she practices a hell of a lot of restraint so there are times when you can see that she's bursting to yell at these people or to say something but she holds back and you know she's like three days let's just everybody get along and manage until eventually it all just blows up uh I am so extremely grateful that you guys are here to support us. It means so much. I mean, what what is the point of your work, of your art, if it isn't viewed? And uh, Durban has always been so supportive. I think that's because I'm a Durban homie, uh, and I always appreciate their support. Thank you so much. I love you guys in Durban, and I'm so grateful that you're here. And yes, please uh, tell us if you enjoyed the movie. <laughs> I think there's one thing that. Uh people forget and that's how powerful family can be and <laughs> if your family is not perfect then you've come to the right place so guys you've heard it from the star cast themselves 3 days to go so be sure to book your tickets as soon as possible for the 24th of january be sure to follow all the handles below to find out the highlights about the upcoming movie thank you so much for watching